my my friends were talking about how the Lord helps <laughs> helps the children <laughs> and the simple, which I'm in the in that category. All right, my, back back to our list of words that uh, Mike had talked about. So we call some some will call them seven words, or they're really seven phrases, mm-hmm. seven um, uh, c- uh, se- segments that together form a really beautiful coherent whole and they resonate within themselves and so i will just briefly run through um these seven and for the believers you're gonna you'll 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 recognize them when i when i talk about it the first one jesus speaks to his father luke 23 24 father forgive them for they know not what they do um divinity his uh, and within this, you're going to see aspects of his divinity and aspects of his humanity, the God man. Second, Jesus speaks to the good thief, Luke 23:43. I tell you in truth, today you will be with me in paradise. So divinity, forgiveness of sin, kingdom of heaven. Again, our Lord's testimony of his divinity. Third, Jesus entrusts Mary to John. John 19, 26, 27, woman, here is your son, and to the disciple he loved, here is your mother, his humanity, his humanity, caring for his mother. Number four in this, we'll, we'll, sir, we'll come back to this one. Jesus cries out to the father, Mark, so Mark 15, 34, and Matthew 27, 46, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Number five, um, Jesus thirsts, um, which would be John 19, 28, I am thirsty. Um, number six, it is finished, like Micah mentioned last time. To tell last day, done, complete, John 19, 30. And number seven, Jesus' last words. Luke 23, 46, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Um, That's Psalm 31 of entrustment and confidence. All right, so um, looking in, so with any, so we looked globally, so now let's um, take the word from Psalm 22. What our Lord sees when he's on the cross is the back of the temple, his father's house and the rising sun in the which would be facing east. In Psalm 22, the hind or deer of the dawn. So we'll see the hind of the dawn, a Psalm of David. And a hot, so another name for hind is deer. Um, perhaps an unknown tune, so it would, uh, to the choir master, it's going to be a song. Um, hind heart is male and a female deer. Um, a hind, yeah, hind and a heart, male and female deer refer to the Lord. And it's an individual lament song. And I, I just will put a link in there if you want to int- to go a little further into what psalms are and everything. So if we have our scriptures turn with us please to 22 and Michael would you be so kind as to read it I know there are 31 voice verses and we're just going to do we're just going to do it just the whole thing yeah 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 all right if you get tired then maybe I'll I'll do in the middle so yeah let me know no worries my god my god why have you forsaken me Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh, my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel, and you, our fathers, trusted. They trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They make 
He trusts in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me from the womb. You made me trust you at my mother's breasts. Oh, on you I was cast from my birth, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many bowls encompass me. Strong bowls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me like a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a potsherd. Or potsherd. What is that? Potsherd. I think that's right. Yeah. You're yeah. good. <laughs> and my tongue <laughs> sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death. For dogs encompass me. A company of evildoers encircles me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far off. O you, my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. You have rescued me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will tell of your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him and stand in awe of him. All you offspring of Israel. For he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. And he has not hidden his face from him, but has heard when he cried to him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will perform before those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nations shall worship before you. For kingship belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth eat and worship. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust, even the one who could not keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, that he has done it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, my friends, we are going to stop with that beautiful um, recitation. And we're going to pick up with the type of um, uh, psalm this is and what it was used for in the next episode. Till then, Fides, Idratio.